Now that you have the body of your doll complete with the legs, what you're going to do is to pick up yarn that's the same color as the doll's top and you're going to do a surface slip stitch all the way across where um, the color change occurs. So I'll demonstrate how to do that. I'm going to insert my hook behind a stitch that's right between the blue and white and at this time, since the top of my doll's um, dress is blue, I want to use the same color, blue. And I'm going to attach the yarn here, pull through. And then I'm going to insert my hook into, um, well, behind the next stitch, yarn over, pull through into a slip stitch. like so. And then insert my hook behind the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the slip stitch. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Here I reach the very end of my round and as you can see I've met the stitch that started off the round. What I'm going to do now is simply um, fasten off by cutting the yarn end and pulling these yarn ends into my doll. So I'm going to pull it through into my doll's body to hide it. And you can go ahead and secure it um, if you'd like to by tying a knot. So basically, as you see here with the slip stitch um, that you've done over the surface, you've created two um, loops for each stitch. So you are going to be working through the bottom loop for the underskirt of the dress and the top loop for the overskirt part. And we'll continue with those instructions next. For the underskirt of the doll, what you're going to do is start with the one of the stitches in the surface slip stitch that you made earlier. As you can see, if you hold the doll upside down, um, you'll see the little V's that you made from the surface slip stitch. You're going to insert your hook into not the one closest to you, but the one farther away. So we can call, since we're holding the doll upside down, um, it would be this stitch on top as opposed to this one on the bottom. So. Putting my hook in here, I'm going to start off with a chain two, attaching um, the color I want for the underskirt of the dress. And then I'm going to do half double crochets um, around, and it will be a half double crochet five times and then an increase. And we'll do that three times. So here's what it would look like. one half double crochet and I'm, as you can see I'll need to go in through that just the top loop here two half double crochets three half double crochets four half double crochets, and five half double crochets. And after five, 
we're going to do an increase. So in this next stitch, I'm going to put two half double crochets both in the same stitch for my increase. And as you can see, as I'm working in only that top loop, you'll see that the bottom loop is left over. You're going to be working into that bottom loop for the overskirt part. So I'm going to continue along here and I'm just going to go ahead and cut off this little yarn and that I've been tucking in so it's not in the way. And continuing with the pattern, you're going to do five half double crochets and then an increase. So here's one half double crochet, two, three, four, five, and then here would be an increase. And then the last repetition of this round, again, five half double crochets, so that's one half double crochet, two, three, four, five, and in that last stitch you're going to increase. So I insert two half double crochets in the same stitch. Now at the very end of the round, you are going to join with a slip stitch to the first single uh, to the first half double crochet you've made, like so. And holding this down, you'll see that this the lower um, the underskirt is beginning to form. The second round of the dress, I'm going to chain two to begin, and then half double crochet six. So that's one half double crochet, two half double crochets, three, four. Five and six and I'm going to increase in this next stitch so that means put two half double crochets in the same stitch like so and then continue on with this repetition so that's six half double crochets one two three four, five, six, and increase. And then do the same in this last repetition, that's six half double crochets. And in that last stitch, increase.
After you finish round four of the underskirt, you're going to start the bottom lacy frill part and I'm just switching to the white color for that. So to begin, you're going to chain one and then increase and slip stitch around. So in the first stitch, I'm going to increase by putting in two single crochets. And then a slip stitch in the next stitch. So increase and then slip stitch in the next stitch. I'm going to snip off the other yarn color now. So again, all the way around, you're going to increase and then slip stitch in the next stitch. Increase, slip stitch in the next stitch. Once you finish crocheting the frill around the underskirt part, we're going to fasten off and then create the overskirt. So I'm going to start off with the center of the doll's uh, dress and we're going to be working in those loops that you created when you went all the way around the body. Um, for the underskirt, we use one side of the loops. For the overskirt, we're going to use the other side. So what you'll do first is find the center stitch and I'm going to do that by holding the crochet hook um, between the legs to see where that would be. So it would be here and there will be two stitches that will be in the very middle. So we'll start with a stitch to the right, to the left, excuse me, here. And I'm going to attach the color that I want for the overskirt. So to start, I'm going to chain two. Like so. And then what you're going to do is um, half double crochet. Oops. Half double crochet in the next stitch. And it might be a little fiddly because the loops are not very um, apparent. You have to kind of dig them out. So here, there's that loop. Now, I'm going to half double crochet around. I'm going to do five half double crochets and then an increase. So here, I'm going to, into the next stitch. And the next one. This first round of the overskirt will be the hardest because the stitches that you're trying to go into are pretty tight. So um, it'll be a little fidgety here. But we've got three half double crochets so far. I'm going to do four. Here. And then increase oops i think i said to do five half double crochets and then increase we're doing four half double crochets and then an increase for this round 
So here is my increase. And then I'm going to continue working around. We'll meet back when we get close to the end of this round. As you can see, when you work in those um, other loops that you made, you're going to be able to create this overskirt right on top of the underskirt portion. So there you've worked half double crochets in the remaining stitches. And when you come to the very last stitch, you're just going to stop. And for row two of the over, over skirt, you're going to chain two to begin, then turn your piece. So you're going to be working the other way. And now we're going to do half double crochet five times and then increase around with half double crochets in the remaining stitches. So I'll do um, a repetition here to show you. Half double crochet. Half double crochet two. Three. Four. five, and then you're going to increase, and then continue around with half double crochet five, and then increase. And again, when you get to the very end here, all you're going to do is um, stop. And then you're going to do the next round, round with um, a chain two and half double crochet the other way. So I'll show you the instructions for those and you'll go ahead and work in the same manner for the overskirt. We'll meet back when that part is done. Once you've finished round five of the overskirt, what you will do is simply fasten off and weave in the ends. As you can see here, the dress skirt has two layers, the overskirt and the underskirt, and that will be that for the dress section.